Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, local storage. Basically, we are going to take a look at a question where we have to design and implement local storage API. This is a very beginner friendly question where we are going to use inbuilt data structures in the front end space. Uh, it's a good question to test problem solving. How would you, you know, architect your solutions? It's a fairly straightforward question. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is the question, uh, design and implement local storage API. Uh, let's see, let's read the description. In this question, you need to design and implement the local storage API. It should mimic the behavior of existing window.local storage. So basically inside our, inside our browser, we have multiple storage mechanism, local storage, session storage, cookies and all. In this question, we have to mimic or recreate the local storage object or local storage functionality basically. So in order to achieve that, we need to implement five things. Uh, one property, local storage dot length, that is going to return an integer representing the number of data items stored in the local storage object. Okay. Apart from that, we have to implement four methods. One is local storage dot set item, which is that is going to take a key value pair. Uh, local storage dot get item, that is going to take a key. And local storage dot remove item, that is again going to take a key. And local storage dot clear. Okay, so I'm not going into in-depth of uh, each method right now uh, as we move along and try to implement them then we'll discuss about them. So first uh, let me clear this. So as the name suggests local storage that means we need some sort of storage some sort of data store where we when user sets a key, send us a key value then we have to set it. We have to store that value against a key. So let's create a class local storage inside that class. We will uh, create the data store. So this dot store, I mean, there are multiple ways to do it. We can do it via an empty object or, you know, some existing native data structure. In this question, we are going to use a map. Okay. And, uh, inside this uh, local storage we uh, this variable we are going to initiate our class so the platform dev tool stack platform where we are solving this question it provides us test cases uh, predefined test cases and we can run our solution against uh, those test cases and in the end all all the test cases should pass so if i run now then my first test case is failing uh, let's see what it uh, what it says it says that testing set item method so this the first method uh, set item that is going to take a key value pair so now let's read about set item when passed the key name and value will add the key to the storage or update the keys value if it already exists okay but in our class this function doesn't exist so let's create set item as per the syntax it's going to take a key and a value and there has to be some functionality so basically when uh, we are given key value we have to store it in the map or in the data store so the data structure we are using right now is map which is natively provided uh, inside map we have uh, you know if we want to store it so we have a function called map.prototype.set it says that the set method adds or updates an entry in the map object with a specified key and value. So we can use this uh, set method directly. So this dot store dot set key comma value. And since it is just setting, so we don't have to return anything. So if I run this uh, function now, the test case is now, then our first test case is case pass. so uh, our first test case is passing but the second test case is failing now which is uh, which says that testing get item method so basically we have to implement the get item so let's write that get item it's going as per the syntax going to take just a key and we have to return it from the store so return this dot store dot get and we just pass the key as simple as that and if we run it now then our second test case is also passing so the third test case uh, testing remove item method so which is here that uh, when passed a key name will remove that key from the store okay so right now it's failing because we haven't you know defined that method so we'll define remove dot 
remove item it's again going to take a key and inside now we have to delete it uh, I, if it would have been an object we could simply do delete dot this dot store and we can pass the key but that's not the case here so we can see the map documentation we have a map dot prototype dot delete the delete method removes the specified element from a map object by key so we can use that so this dot store dot delete and we can pass the key so if we run the test cases now so our third test case is passing and it is working fine so all three test cases are passing uh, we are on the fourth one that is testing clear method let's see the description when invoked will empty all the keys out of the storage top object so we have to just basically we have to clean it we have to reset the our data store so we can use the clear and in this will not no key no parameter so we can simply do this dot store dot clear and this is provided by the map object itself so basically our solution is kind of a wrapper over the uh, map data structure uh, if you use an object then you have to add some custom things but in terms of using a data structure like map which is natively inbuilt you are just we are just uh, wrapping it so if i run this now so it says invalid length property expected undefined to be equal to zero okay so the clear property uh, the the, this is breaking because we haven't defined the uh, length property we there is no length property as of now so if it is doing local storage dot length then it is returning undefined because it doesn't exist so what we can do here is that we know that by length property we want to know what is the uh, size or what is the length of the data store so we can define a getter function length which is going basically a function and inside that we can return this dot uh, store dot size so let me explain what I have done inside our uh, using our map data structure we have a property dot size that is going to return the number of elements in a map object okay so and uh, we are set we are we have returned it as a getter function so what is a getter function basically getter function is kind of making a property as a method so if you see this example in this we have you know an object and we have a array log and we have defined latest as a getter function that means whenever we are going to console log object dot latest then it is going to run this latest function and uh, return the output of this function as the value so this is a getter function so in this case we have defined the length as a getter function so if i run the test case now then our clear method is also passing plus our fifth test case that is testing the length property is also passing because we have uh, returned the we have implemented the length property so so far we have done set item get item remove item and clear and we have also done the length property so we defined all the methods and properties but uh, our sixth test case that is saying invoking set item with invalid or no params that means uh, we are passing the wrong data here or as of now the call is local storage dot set item and we are not passing any parameters here so that's why it's so the error is that uh, expected to throw a type error that means if we don't have proper parameters then we should throw a type error so what we can do here is that we can collect it here and if so we have to add the sanity check so if there is, there is, there is no length as in no params are passed or uh, arguments length is less than 2 then we can throw new type error where we can say expected to parameters but got and if we run now uh, something is failing okay so we have to also get key and value here args dot and we run it now 
see our six test cases passing now so we just saw that our uh, test case number six that is we are invoking set item with either no parameters uh, and it is or invalid params and it was failing uh, that means the call was local storage dot set item and we were passing no params and it was failing and we added this type check and uh, now or we added the length check and throwing a type error and it's passing we can also check it by here that if we do uh, local storage dot set item we directly call it just to check it out and i just run the code rather than running the test cases then we will say we are you know we have the type error now the error we are throwing that expected two parameters but got zero so our you know type error is working but okay sorry the, we have to remove this else test case won't work so but uh, now our seventh test case is failing which is checking the get item with valid with invalid or no params the same case uh, but however the difference is right now we are calling set item rather than sorry get item rather than set item so we can just simply copy this and paste it inside our get item and uh, we can add the check here expected one parameters but maybe we can simply write dot zero and uh, so we need just the key so key and uh, we can take the second index and if we run this now key has already been okay sorry so this has to be asked And it passes now our seventh test case is passing so we added all the methods uh, and we added type uh, length check and throwing type errors and we also saw that there are test cases are passing so but our eighth test case is failing but before talking about that we a couple of things about the platform that uh, you know you can either use the format button here or you can even do command s or control s and it will format your code i mean so if you have something you know l formatted code you just do command s and it auto formats your code you can obviously use the format button at the bottom uh, i'm in process of adding a lot more shortcuts and a lot more functionality but this is you know one way to indent our code properly so let's go back let's go back to that eighth test case now which says that setting non primitive data type as the key value that means if we are setting this and we are fetching it back but we are not getting the same value so let's see what the error is error is expected value one but found undefined okay so let's run this so at the bottom if you look at the bottom so if i call local storage and i pass a non-primitive let's say i pass a function and set the value as one and if i use it local and try to fetch it so console dot print i try to fetch it let's see what's the output local storage is not defined is not a function oh sorry my bad we have to do get item so if i run this so we are getting undefined however but local storage dot site item when we are passing a non primitive as one then we are getting it the we are setting as the value as one but we are getting undefined so if i comment all this out and if i just copy this and i use window dot local storage and here window dot local storage so we are using the native functionality we are setting here and we are getting here so let's see what's the output if i go run now then we are getting one that means if we pass a non primitive as key and anything as value then it is uh, then it should work then when we try to fetch with the same key then it should work so let's see why is that so if we go to the uh, description of uh, local storage so this is local storage on mdn it says that the key values are stored in local storage with always in the in the UTF-16 string format, which is, uses two byte per character. 
so integer keys are automatically converted into string so the essence is that whatever key value you pass they are always type casted as strings so how to fix this in our case so right now if we run in our code we run the test case then it is failing so that means we have to type cast everywhere so let's say when we are setting we type cast it add to string and when we are fetching then also we need to type cast to string and the same goes when we are removing the item so now if I run this so all our test cases are passing and we can verify this by running without the test case also that we are setting here one and we are fetching passing the same function or the function as a key here and we are getting the same value and if we run the test cases so by all the test cases eight test cases are passing so that means our solution is working so this brings end to our video i hope you like the solution uh, it is a fairly straightforward one if you think you can add on to the solution or I did something wrong and you can come up with a better solution or you want to share your approach then please do mention in the comments do reach out to me uh, and on the DevTools tech platform you can try many more questions be it uh, you know HTML CSS questions react based questions or vanilla JS questions which we just saw I'm trying to curate a good list of questions so I request uh, please do like share subscribe do share it with your friends so that we can raise awareness around our content till next time thank you bye bye take care